Hi everyone, this is Miss Frazier from the VLA. I have a little piece of Port Huron's history that I would like to share with you today. Do you know who Youngblood is? I have heard about Youngblood and a shootout with police since I was a very young child. This happened in the area of Port Huron known as South Park at a local grocery store there. My uncle's uncle was one of the police officers that were involved in the actual shootout. For years, I've been looking for more information on this subject, and now that we have many different internet sources, I've been able to compile it to share. Youngblood escaped from prison and came to Port Huron to hide out. Many of you have heard of John Dillinger. Dillinger was a gangster that was born in 1903. He is a Navy deserter that turned to bank robbery. He was caught several times and escaped each time with the help of others that he had previously helped escape from another prison. He continued to rob banks in Wisconsin and Indiana. He was caught again in Arizona and extradited back to Chicago. This is where he used a piece of wood shaped to look similar to a gun to escape on March 3, 1934. This time, Youngblood was with him during this escape. They separated and Youngblood headed to Port Huron to hide out and Dillinger continued to rob banks. Remember, this all happened during the Great Depression when we had a huge portion of our country that was out of work and many banks had folded as a result of the stock market crash in 1929. Dillinger was eventually shot leaving a theater that same year in the fall. So I do have a video that I am sharing here for you to watch and it has more information about Dillinger and Youngblood to explain what had happened and there's lots of pictures.